peace being multiplied, that's something I can definitely get into. <laughs> Cause I know for me and probably for you, I need more peace. Now I have more than I had 10 years ago. Oh, are you kidding? Much more, much, much more actually. But I could definitely use more. God's peace in my life to be multiplied. I think Philippians 4 is great homework if you choose to do so. I think Philippians 4 is like one of the mental health passages of the scriptures. And I mean, I'm convinced of this every time I look at it, every time I listen to it or read it, it is just so healthy for our hearts and minds. So there's the things you think about, things that are lovely and noble and good and just and true and all that, and then the God of peace will be with you. Then you also have uh, taking every anxious thought and bringing it in prayer to God with thankfulness, that's super key, with thankfulness, and the peace of God will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. God's peace puts a guard around my heart and around my mind because we get attacked in both places. We get attacked in both places. Not only emotionally, where I'm just like, Ugh, you know, emotions. Sometimes they're great. Sometimes they're horrible. They're like puppies, you know. <laughs> it's the cutest thing in the world until you leave them alone. And then all of a sudden, it's like, what happened? <clears throat> That's how emotions seem to be. And then in your mind, you need God's peace because your mind gets attacked with weird thoughts and weird ideas that sometimes are from you and sometimes I think are not from you. And you get these thoughts that burrow in and become like that root that sort of spreads that weed that kind of tries to spread out and take over. Um, thoughts of your own insecurities, and it usually ends up being just a general self-focus. Which is why I then turn to God with thankfulness and prayer and pouring out my heart to him so, so I can have his peace to guard me. The implication here is this. It's normal for Christians to need God's peace to guard our hearts and minds. I find that encouraging. <laughs> it's not like you're failing as a Christian because you have these things. I mean, I'll just be honest. Like, I think that as Christians... And I'm sure non-Christians feel this way too, but there are times when like, say, middle of the night you wake up and you're just confused and you don't know what's going on and you're not really sure where you are. You have some weird idea stuck in your brain, just bugging you, bugging you, bugging you. I don't know if you've ever had that. I know I have. All I know is we are but dust. We are but dust. And we need God's peace and God's help and God's hope. And I take all the, any moment like that as like, Lord, this is just training for the next trauma that's coming down the road. I just want to have trust and faith in you and confidence in you in the middle of this so that I can have your peace and grace multiplied in my life. We definitely need that. And it is definitely available.